Good afternoon, everyone. Today is January 22nd, 2021. I'm Mayor Paul Medini. I'm here on behalf of Defer Township Council with Defer Township updates and COVID-19 updates. So we're going to start off with COVID-19 info because we're still in the middle of it. Vaccines are, are available. You've been listening to the news. The rollout isn't what we were hoping it would be, but uh, hopefully we're going to work through it. Go on our website to register and get other information about vaccines and other information about COVID-19 because again and again and again, it's still here. Please continue to wear your face coverings. Here's mine right here. I'm talking without it because nobody's near me right now. Wash your hands, stay physically apart. You've heard it a million times, but keep doing that because you do not want to get this disease and you do not want to pass it on and give it to others, especially your family members, etc. All right, and at this point, just to say this, we're probably at the point now where we all know somebody who has contracted the disease. Remember a couple months ago, we're, we're saying like, oh my God, I don't know anybody. Now we do. And you, so you can see the rise in cases. It's here. So we need to beat this thing to keep our local economy moving. Local businesses need your help and they need our help. The mall is open. Restaurants are open. Everything's open. Please continue getting takeouts if you don't want to go there to dine, but you can. You can go eat lunch. You can go dine there. Go shop at the mall. Everything is open. Just wear your face mask, face coverings, and again and again and again, they could certainly use our help. So reminder, this is winter, of course. If the forecast calls for ice or snow, we'll be out with our crews brining roads. We're out right now doing it. We have well over 500 local roads. Keep this in mind. Our crews are assigned to zones. All the zones start at the same time. Plowing commences at approximately four inches of snow or more. Any accumulation under this, we treat with salt. You can help by keeping parked vehicles off the road when possible. This is very important when possible. Driveways will have the same amount of snow pushed onto the snow onto the apron as the rest of the road. That seems to be a challenge each year, but I wanted to mention that because I want you to think about that. Go on our website for more information about snow plowing. So our crews did a fantastic job that last little snowfall we had. We had them out plowing even though it was only three inches of snow, and I'm misspeaking because we needed, we thought it was a dangerous storm. We needed to get the crews out there and get our equipment working in anticipation of a, of a bad winter here. So, and we can't thank them for the long hours. Can't thank them enough for the long hours they put in and the, the job that they do. They just do a fantastic job. Our new municipal litter patrol crew is out there. We, we did this because quickly, I spoke about this before, our community service program went by the wayside because the court system wasn't in operation and that's where we got a lot of our community service folks from. So now we decided to put some of our public works crew on. We have two folks out there in a pickup truck with a trailer, all equipped, and they're out patrolling all the roads. Again, 500 local municipal roads. It's going to take us quite a while. Please don't litter and you can help us also. You can go out and pick up litter in your neighborhood too. Our new no need to speed signs are going up around town. You'll see them around that's our slogan we invented that it's no need to speed they're very bright signs it's reminding you to slow down and we also have those digital signs that are about two feet rectangular and they're flashing your speed to get you to slow down but really speeding is such a problem in our local neighborhoods it's a simple fact like this obey the speed limit and slow down we recently installed 13 new welcome to deferred signs at entrances to our town where that's a part of our program to promote our community and let everyone know what a great place you are to live in and purchase a home. Keeping our community safe and clean, that's what we do. Code enforcement is out every day responding to violations and encouraging homeowners and business owners to maintain their properties. Our public safety director, police chief, and council are working every day on public safety initiatives, community involvement, and emergency action plans. That, that has been working out tr tr uh, tremendously, the public safety director. We have a patrol picking up the little illegal signs that you see around the mall area on, on right of ways. It's basically litter, and we have a person assigned to that to, to pick them up. The municipal budget process is ongoing. Throughout our recent history, we've consistently held the line on tax increases. We try to keep our taxes stable. There are going to be increases, and some years we've gone zero, but stability is what we're striving for. We have an excellent AA bond rating, clean municipal yearly audits, fiscal responsibility through hard decisions is always our plan. We've produced huge cost savings in the last several years sharing services. Last year we joined county, the county ambulance service and this has worked out even much better than we anticipated. Better coverage, etc. 
we were awarded first place in the Rutgers and uh, New Jersey League of Municipalities Municipal Information Contest. We mentioned this before, but we want to keep mentioning it because it's all about transparency in government and getting information out to you. We're going to keep you informed. We're going to keep our community clean and safe. And we're going to keep the effort the best community in the region. So we listen, we learn, we work hard. Thank you for being great citizens. Stay safe, keep others safe, and we'll see you soon.